What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we got a surprise Galaxy S24 update, uh, S24 series, S24 Ultra that rolled out earlier this morning. It's been all over Twitter. Some S23 users are getting the update as well. Software update from Samsung, not an app update. Uh, before we get started talking about that, I do want to thank my three-year-old son, Jonathan. We got some animals hanging out today. We got the Lego Panda and the Lego Polar Bear. Always appreciate my three-year-old son for giving us some stuff to hang out in the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, please check out my alpha link in the pinned comment description. It always has the latest video. You can also sign up for our newsletter, which will allow you to get in on our free mystery box program. If you've never heard about that, we give away a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies like gift cards, Google Play credit, Amazon gift cards. As long as you pre-order your new Samsung phone through our affiliate link, the next program will be for the Z Fold 6, the Z Flip 6 this summer, and then the S25 series next year. You can learn all about that and also check out my personal website and some of the other stuff I'm up to on the alpha link below. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this update. So I bookmarked this over on Twitter. Uh, a couple here. The first one here is from my guy, Tarun Vats, always covering the latest updates for us. Galaxy S24 second update is live in Europe. EUX CSC. So for those of you who don't know much about uh, Samsung devices, this is basically the region-specific part about the uh, the bootloader. There's four different files if you want to flash your firmware. So the CSE basically tells you a little bit about the region uh, where the phone came from. There's the build version uh, ending in AXCB. And you can actually see here this screenshot. It is obviously relatively large, but it does start here, as you can see, uh, this version with an S, so this is likely security update. Um, you can see right here, it's 440.71 megabytes, still the April 1st security patch, which we already got an April update earlier. Now, what's interesting here is this, we don't know if this is only going to be specifically for the European devices. This may not come to other regions, we're not sure. Because um, it looks like up here, there's some regional specific information. It says, regional LTE TDD band support has been updated. Please note models purchased in Germany cannot receive signals in LTE TDD bands in the following countries. Belgium, Denmark, Germany, France, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Austria, Poland, Switzerland, and Czech Republic. However, there's still a possibility this could roll out. Of course, this is just the general language here. Device stability, new enhanced features. This isn't a particularly super large update, 440.71 megabytes. I mean, it's still a massive update size relative to just an app update, but for a software update, not really that large. So there's some people chiming in below where they've gotten it. You can see here, Tarun said it looks like it's a region specific one. Uh, some people got it with the S23 Plus in Poland. Some people got it with the S23 in Italy, S23 Ultra. Oh, this is in India, he didn't get it yet. Uh, S23, everybody in Europe, it doesn't look like um, this is rolling out to any other regions. So we may have to wait until May, or around the beginning of May. Perhaps this might have some new security fixes in it, um, but it does appear that this could be a European only specific update. I haven't seen anyone outside of Europe yet get this update. So if you guys are in some other region, let us know, drop a comment below. I always make these videos also so we can kind of see who's gotten these updates when they start rolling out. Of course, if I get this, of course, I'll make a video on the stability, etc. The other thing I wanted to mention is the April's Google Play system update has arrived. Um, this is something else that I saw posted. So if you go into your settings here, uh, you want to scroll down to your about phone right here at the bottom. I'm going to tap it because it shows the phone number. Just go into software information inside of about phone. Once you go to software information, you go to Google Play system update, check for update, and then the April update should be available. It's a rather large one, 70 megabytes. This makes sure all your Google services, et cetera, are running perfectly. Um, we actually got a second March Google Play system update last week, so Google's really pushing these out. I'll dig into these a little bit more and see kind of what we can expect if there's anything interesting. Sometimes there can be some interesting new Google Play features for the Play Store, et cetera, in these updates as well. Anyway, let me know if you guys got this monthly, uh, the second monthly update for the S24, S23, if you're in Europe or another region. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon, for future videos like this. Check out the alpha link, sign up for the newsletter if you're interested, and get in on the mystery box program as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.